JustMyIdeas.com So I just wanted to show you guys something here real quick. I dropped my drone. Um, this is the DJI Phantom 3 Pro. And, uh, well, here's the gimbal. Good thing I had the stabilizer on there. But, um, yeah, what I'm doing right now is I'm attempting to get all of these wires set up to go back in um, this area right here. So as you can see, all of these did come out and I'm almost done putting them back. But they have to be in order in succession as they are here from the top down type of thing. So uh, if that ever happens to you, um, then this is how you do it. You just make sure that as these wires are coming in, the top one should be the top one on this wire harness right here. So just continue to do those all the way down until you're done. Um, and then test it out make sure everything's good so I'm about to do that now and I'll shoot a video and show you guys the uh, results here <laughs> wish me luck okay so earlier I had taken my drone out uh, to an area that I thought I would be able to get some great shots from and I dropped this thing while carrying it I was trying to carry both things and uh, one hand and I just wanted to switch hands with it and this thing from about three feet in the air drops straight down uh, on its back like that and when that happened it wasn't like anything major uh, these things here came loose they were already partially broken off uh, one of these just flew out landed on the ground this whole uh, gimbal assembly was detached and off so I grabbed the parts and went back to my car and uh, just used some of these twisty ties to hold it back for now I'll probably go online and look for a uh, repair set for that or whatnot but as you can see I got it back on there um, the other issue that I had because everything was detached all those wires that are underneath here that connect with a wire harness uh, all of those disconnected as well so I actually had to put those wires in individually and then finally I got them all back in there and luckily everything was okay I did a test and camera still works uh, gimbal was fine obviously it's going to be slightly off because if this one's a little bit tighter than this one then it's going to be looking at a slight angle or whatnot uh, which you can adjust for in the uh, app. Um, but yeah, obviously I'm better off just going ahead and grabbing those plastic insert pieces that used to be in there and repair that. But while I have this out, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys some other things um, about the flotation device. Uh, there were some folks talking about... Um, this is called get her back it's really for a fishing pole it'll pull up 10 pounds out of the water so if you did crash at least what this thing is going to do is once it detects that it's submerged in water it's going to pop up a flotation thing from here and it's going to go up and then it's going to be floating there on top of the water so you can come back and retrieve your drone at least now obviously you're probably going to have quite a bit of damage in that process but at least you get it back and you don't have to put those gigantic styrofoam things on the legs and looks weird and I don't think I would ever want to land on water with this it's not waterproof right so and I wanted to cover some other things so you're probably wondering what the heck is this long wire you have out front and what is this well what I did is I found online there's some uh, add-on light kits and what they do is basically you have some uh, peel and stick velcro or whatnot uh, that you can attach these modules to and what you do is back here where your battery goes in what I did is I soldered on these little uh, wires that come with it and you just push them right over the positive and negative and I just put a couple of beads of solder to make sure they weren't coming loose 
um, and the battery still slides in there. There's still clearance. And the tricky part is you actually have to stick the wires through one of these vent uh, spots here in the side so that you're not running it all the way around the outside here and then back in, which you're going to smash the wire every time you put the battery in. But anyway, once that's done, now you're pulling power back out here. And it has little switches on here. You can turn them on, turn them off. So what I'll do is, uh, let's see. I think I have a battery here that's good to go. Yeah. So I'll put that in and I'll show you exactly what it does here. Let me get this powered up. And one of these is for this, this strip of uh, LED lights that I picked up that are for the... Uh, nighttime flying right so that's going to be really bright you're not going to have a problem seeing where your drone is at night now the other add-on is this headlight one right here this is velcro and the reason i have the long line on this you can see that's pretty bright is i put this long line on here because what i wanted to do was play around with the idea of putting that about five, six feet below the drone and have fishing line connected to the legs and put this light right behind a Halloween mask type of thing and light it up. Well, the problem I had with that is that the mask continues to turn around because of all the downward air pressure coming from the uh, blades, right? So I think the easiest way around that is to put some sort of cape on the uh, on the mask so it has something to keep it in a general direction that way it's not turning around on its own and when you turn the mask will turn as well I just thought that would look really cool at night and I haven't done it yet obviously but um, I've done a couple of trial runs with it so far I will eventually perfect that and uh, shoot that video of course, I have the skin on here. I bought that online as well and just, you know, it's peel and stick. Uh, these guards, uh, wow, these are invaluable. So when you're thinking about how do I protect it to where I'm not going to hurt someone with these blades, I'm not going to damage the drone as much if I hit the side of a building real quick or just tap into a tree, I'm okay. It's not that big of a deal because I'm not hitting the blade. I'm not breaking the blades. These are still my original blades. I've had this thing for like a year now. So anyway, let's move on. There is, uh, you know, the add-on piece you can put below here to keep. If you are going to land on, let's say there was a rock right underneath, you want to prevent that rock from doing any damage to your gimbal because let's face it, that thing's not cheap, and it's pretty finicky as well. Uh, the other thing that everybody was talking about is uh, how do you increase your signal strength? Well, we were talking about these that are on Amazon, and it's just simply, you know, it's got like a copper or metal uh, shielding on there, and you just simply slide it on and make sure it's facing away from you. So... One of the drawbacks of using these is if the drone is ever on the opposite side of these, guess what? No signal. So you got to make sure that you have these positioned correctly so that it's going to be in the direction of your drone. You want it being in this situation here. If you're going straight up, you know, tilt it back, whatever. But they do help. I have found that whereas before when I didn't have these, you know, if I had a couple of trees that were in my line of sight or whatnot and the drone flew onto the other side of those trees, that's why I caught these because I actually lost signal for the first time uh, months ago when that occurred. I put these on. I did the exact same scenario. No issues. Signal was good. So for nine bucks on Amazon, these are the cheapest ones. Uh, yeah, worth it. Um, <laughs> That's uh, definitely worthwhile. Also, this uh, gimbal uh, holder type of thing. See this? 
This is so much easier to get on and off than the typical one that comes with it. You know, this weird configured, it's like, okay, this goes on like, and it's like a learning experience every time you try to put this stupid thing on. <laughs> so I just use this and you just slap it on the front and clip it on right there and you're good to go. See, I did that with one hand. That's, you could never do that with the other one. Uh, let's see, other than that, I think that's it.